In this tutorial, we will show you how to use exploration chaining. Firstly, we'll log in to our Stream Explorer. For this tutorial, we'll enter the IoT Internet of Things section of our catalog. And as you can see, we've already created an exploration that took simulated event data from devices, filtered out unneeded information, and added a context by using reference data for each of these devices. This exploration was published. So now we can show you how to use this expiration in a new expiration. So let's create this expiration. We'll give it a name and a meaningful description. We will now add relevant tags, in this case IoT, to indicate this is part of the IoT section of our catalog, together with other useful tags for this expiration. Now we can specify a source. As you can see, because we published a previous expiration, we can now use this expiration and the output stream as input into this new expiration. And press the Create button. Now we can see the expiration canvas providing us with the streaming output from the previous exploration. Now we can do further detailed analysis on this new streaming data. We'll select using the group by the various fields properties of the event which we're interested in. We'll add a summary which is a count of each unique device address or ID. We'll include a time window. So we're looking for devices that are failing within a time window of 30 seconds. And we'll stream the output as a slide of every five seconds. Finally, we'll add a filter for the count of device IDs where the amount of failures is greater or equal to three. So we're effectively looking for devices, unique devices that are failing continuously in a streaming window of three times in that 30 second window. Here we can see now the Stream Explorer identifying those unique devices that are failing more than three times within a 30 second continuous window. For these failing devices, we now want to do further analysis by sending these events specifically downstream or to a target which in this case is a new CSV file located on my Windows file system. We press the stream button. And finally, now we're happy with this exploration, we will publish it for further usage. Here we can see some graphical representation of the streaming tabular data. And let's look at the file system to locate the file, the CSV file, which has been dynamically created by the Stream Explorer. And here we can see the output from the analysis with a header 
that includes the account of device IDs and the other information that was created and analyzed by the Stream Explorer. And here you can see our new expiration, which is chaining from a previous expiration.